guys, welcome back to my channel, Hog Wizard. Today we're at Peterson North. We have a beautiful 2024 straight glide and we have a 2024 road glide. Today we're going to be going over the differences on these two bikes, what's new, and um, if it's a big improvement from the uh, previous years, what engine size, and what changed in these two bikes. So on this 2024 road glide, let's start off with the MSRP on these bikes. The MSRP on the Road Glide is $25,999. MSRP on the Street Glide is $25,999. It is a slight decrease from previous years. Uh, for example, when I bought my Road Glide in 2022, I paid almost $30,000 for my bike. That's when the uh, uh, factories was having shortages of chips and a bunch of other crazy stuff that the price was so inflated. And I needed a bike, so I ended up paying thirty dollars So at $25,999 MSRP, <clears throat> it's a great deal. These bikes have have gotten cheaper than last year's, and in my opinion, they offer a better uh, a better package. Starting off with the engine, it's a 117. The heads are liquid cool, and it it offers more power than the 107, 114, of course. <clears throat> another 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 great thing is Harley got rid of the 107 and the 114. I know there's a lot of people that like the with the 114 but the 117 has all the power you need straight from the factory straight from the box also the infotainment big big thing that changed the infotainment screen screen is huge compared to last year's you know uh models you have all the information you need everything is digital tire pressure rdrs for those of you that don't know what rdrs is is the rider and hand system for cornering you have rain mode and different modes now, from first impressions looking at this bike, the bike is beautiful. Um, I was not a fan of the fairing at first, but the more I look at it, the more I'm getting into the fairing. Um, same quality from Harley, nothing has changed. If we move over to the, for the, to the front fairings, Harley claims that this front fairing is more aerodynamic than previous road glide fairings. Um, I don't know how much aerodynamic it's going to be, but if it's an improvement, it's great. The side, the side wind deflectors, they changed on my road glide. They're fixed. Now here you can move them back and forth to give you more, more comfort. <clears throat> we still have the same. Uh, this will be considered a road glide standard, 20, 20, 2024 road glide standard. We have the same forks that tend to pit over time. Uh, nothing you can do about that. Just add a little bit of a... Uh, W40, maybe to protect the uh, the forks. Um, <clears throat> the saddlebags, the saddlebags have changed as well. They have a different shape from last year's saddlebags. Uh, not a fan of it, but like like I said, you know, Harley's moving, Harley's changing things around, and they don't look bad. It's just that it's not my style. I'll probably still keep my, my saddlebags. I just don't like how bulky it is right here. And to be honest, they look about the same size inside, maybe a little bigger, maybe a little wider. If you guys can see, these are demo bikes from Wisconsin, from the factory. And a lot of people have been asking questions about the tour pack. Is the tour pack going to change? Is it going to have a different, different style? And as you guys can see, the tour pack is the same. So you can use your old tour pack on your new road glide if you match the paint we have in the bag cbo style brake lights which i do like that's a that's a nice touch let's move over to the screen before we hit the screen this pockets here what i like about this pockets now is that this pockets actually clip they have like a locking mechanism. In my roguelite, these pockets are um, open. You can, all you have to do is lift them up. Now you gotta press down to be able to open the pocket. It looks about the same depth. Nothing has changed there. And what I like about it is that this pocket on the left hand side is the same size as that one. In my roguelite, this pocket tends to be a little smaller. Uh, that's where I keep my registration and stuff like that. But plenty of space on the roguelite. Like I said, you're more pushed further away than the street light where everything's closer to you. The screen is amazing. You have all the information you need on the screen. Navigation, um, uh, uh, digital speedometer, gas, uh, tire pressure. Harley still kept the uh, 
the top vent for the buffering in your head. I have not ridden this bike yet. Um, I want to ride it. I have not ridden it yet, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a, an amazing motorcycle. It's going to handle great, like all Harley products do. And um, I really, I really like, I like the new bikes. I like the new bikes. Um, I like the way of the uh, the handlebars. Now the handlebars are easy to adjust. You got four screws. You can loosen them up, move the handlebars back and forth, however you want. Um, in the old older style road glides, um, you had to take off the whole cluster to be able to get to the bolts on the, the bolts underneath. So this is a lot easier. This is more of a T-bar setup, but you can actually see the whole screen and it's a lot cleaner. Moving on to the seat, I will say the seat is an improvement from the previous years. It is a really comfortable. You have the Harley Davidson logo on the seat, on the back of the seat right here. And it feels great. It feels premium. It feels better than the last year's uh, uh, <clears throat> stock seats that came with your standards. Overall, guys, it's a it's a great bike. Uh, I mentioned that the water, the the heads are water cooled. Not the whole engine, just the water, just just the heads. They claim that this bike runs about forty degrees, if I'm not mistaken, cooler than the, than the previous year's bikes. And you guys know that Harley, what kills Harley, Harley is, is the heat. And so the engineers have managed to make a new bike, keep the keep the temperature down, more horsepower. Uh, the 107 and 114 are no longer an engine that you can buy. Uh, I'm not sure if with the Roguelite Limited, you still have the 114 or 117. I will have to check on that. But on the standards, even the standard comes to the 117 unless you go to the CVO ST with a 121 or the CVO. Uh, those are the two engines that Harley is offering right now on their motorcycles. And great engines, great power. Uh, my bike is a 107 with a stage one. And the 117, when I rode it, uh, I rode a uh, 2023 117. It was fun. I felt the power. And a lot of times that's what we need to be able to get on the highway without dropping a gear. And you have a passenger, your bike is heavy. A bigger engine will give you that torque that you need to get off and be able to get with traffic or pass a car. All right, guys, so now we have the 2024 Street Glide MSRP is 25,999, cheaper than last year, so that's great. Harley kept the quality, uh, they kept everything nice. Uh, this one, um, in comparison to the uh, Road Glide we were showing, it has the blackout engine, um, looks, looks great. I like the black forks. So when it comes to this bike, it's pretty much the same, as you guys know, it's Street Glide, it's the same thing as a roguelike from the tank back. So we already talked about all that saddlebacks, uh, CVO style uh, brake lights in the back. The only thing that changes is the fairing on this bike. Um, also an amazing bike. These are Harley's uh, top seller motorcycles right now. They have been for a long time. Um, I will say that the audio on this both on both bikes have been upgraded significantly. So the the speakers are better. It sounds louder. Uh, a lot of people are giving good compliments about the audio on these bikes now. Uh, we're going to move to the uh, infotainment screen, uh, screen. What we have here is different from the Rogue Glide, where we have pockets on this side. We have a big drawer right here that you can open up. You have your USB cable uh, type C, so it's not a USB, a regular USB anymore. And I'm going to tell you something, guys, from, from last year's Sprig Lights. The reason why I got a Rogue Glide was because the Sprig Glide didn't offer enough space for me to put my stuff away. But with this big, big um, uh, space that we have behind the fairing, I like the way the Sprig Glide looks more. It's more streamlined. Everything's right in front of you. Um, and this is pretty big. You can fit a phone. You can fit a gun. You can fit whatever you want to fit in here. Um, plenty of space. I, I really like it. Look at that screen. That screen looks amazing. Tachometer, speedometer, radio in the middle, everything digital. We're in a new era, guys. The era of anal uh, uh, needle gauges, and it's, it's over. We're in 2024. Everybody's moving over to uh, digital gauges and digital screens. Is the uh, I, I, will, I will go as far as to name it the digital screen era, where even cars nowadays have a 12-inch screen on the uh, in, in in the front in, in the center console. This is a really nice color, and like I said, the CVO lights in the back, stock exhaust, of course. Another 
<clears throat> another difference from this street lights, the mirrors are integrated into the fairing, which is something that I really like for the simple fact that you don't have anything sticking out over, over the fairing. Everything looks nice and clean. They're actually attached to the inner, inner part of the fairing. You can move them back and forth. You can adjust them. Makes, a really, makes it for a really clean look on the motorcycle. Um, the tank, it's, it's, it's weird. It's different from the, uh, from the standard gas caps and um, an actual lid from the previous years. Um, now, you don't have to unscrew anything. Like I do with mine where I have to open the lid and screw, and screw the, uh, the cap and then put the, the nozzle in. Now all you have to do is lift up the tab, pull back. That simple. That is an improvement. Harley has been listening to the customers for a long time. And it, sometimes it takes them a while, but they actually do listen. And they, uh, they try to improve the product and give, you, give the rider a better ex experience. Um, come check out these bikes at Peters North. On 441 Miami, Florida, talk to Bob or any other salesman and come, come in for a test ride. You're going to love these bikes. an incredible experience uh, checking out this new bikes at uh, Harley Davidson road glide and the street glide 2024 road glide and the street glide are amazing motorcycles um, sometimes we're a little skeptical about change and we don't want Harley Davidson to change anything but then again we complain that Harley Davidson has been making the same product and that they don't change it and it's always the same thing and the same problems and this and that so we got we have to be a little more open uh, and understand the uh, the company and the manufacturing what they're trying to do beautiful motorcycles still have the harley uh everything that it stands for you guys can go cannot go wrong with these new motorcycles like i always say thank you for watching my video if you're a subscriber Thank you very much for your support. If you're new, welcome to my channel where I try to bring you guys content and keep you guys entertained in the motorcycle world. Um, I also want to talk about my uh, new website where you can go and find my merchandise, um, hats, beanies, shirts, and, uh, uh, and hoodies with the Hot Wizard logo on them. The shirts are premium quality heavyweight t-shirts and heavyweight uh, hoodies uh, really comfortable clothes if you want to go check it out go to hogwizard.com again that's hogwizard.com and if you want to support the channel guys by all means go in there get yourself a shirt get yourself a hoodie and rock it but that's it guys uh, I would include the link to the website Somewhere in the screen. 
I hope you guys find uh, the video entertaining. I hope you guys learn something. If I'm missing stuff on the video, which I know I am, um, you can go ahead and let me know in the comments. Um, just want to let you guys know that there's no script. There's no... Uh, I do very little prep when it comes to the videos because I want to... I want to bring you guys videos of how it will be uh, me showing up and, and, for example, looking at the spikes. Um, uh, it, nothing is prepared. Um, I'm not pushing anybody to buy a Harley Davidson. There's a, I like Indian motorcycles. I like Harley Davidsons. I like old motorcycles. I, I grew up on on, on sports on sport sports bikes, and that's that's where I learned how to ride. Um, and then I moved into Harley. I love Harley Davidson. I'm a loyal fan to the brand and their motorcycles. Uh, but like I said, guys, there's no script. Uh, it all comes out as it goes. Um, but thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the like button. And hit the bell so you're notified when I come with a new video. When I come out with a new video. And leave a comment. If you found the video helpful or interesting or entertaining, uh, please share it to your social media. Let 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 others know. Um, I really appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you very much.